Here's another fucking article that I found. The real case of censorship that proves cancel culture outrage is bullshit by David S. Cohen. Right-wing pundits are ready to go off at a business decision they don't like, but when it comes to real censorship of a student who cares about trans rights, they've been silent. Probably because that's just the exception to the rule and because those types of people, as we just saw in the video we just watched, probably should not have a platform because the entire point is them grooming kids. So anyway... Uh, the conservative outrage about cancel culture, quote-unquote, I guess. This past week, past week reached a fevered pitch. Let me put on some fucking uh, lo-fi hip-hop, actually. Let me find that shit. Find that. Relax and study, too. Let's study the enemy to this lo-fi lo hip-hop vibe, okay? <laughs> Just a little bit, a second bit, uh... Beautiful. Right-wing politicians have used their CPAC speeches and social media accounts to decry people being forced to change what they say in the name of mob sentiments. Culture war commentators in newspapers and online outlets have written lengthy broadsides against this current form of political correctness. Fox News has seemingly spent more time on the issue than the pandemic that still grips the country, right? Because you're, well, your shutdowns, blah, 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 and your snot rags have killed way more people and your riots. So shut your fucking mouth. I'm, I'm so sick of that, dude. Like, peppering and, well, <laughs> the pandemic. <laughs> just peppering any, dude, just anything. You know what I mean? This right-wing focus has been couched in the honorable defense of free speech and free thought. Yeah, I'm sure a Cohen understands what honor is, okay? Those are fundamental principles to this country, no doubt. But don't be fooled. American conservatives have no interest in these abstract principles. Instead, all they care about is defending a time when racism, sexism, anti-LGBT sentiments were commonplace and acceptable, okay? Look at this. Look at how they do this. They make it, they make you associate the reader anti-LGBT sen sentiments, okay, so like a video that I just did, that, that that's something they would consider in that category. Questioning the transgender sort of narrative and whether or not kids should be roped up into that, okay. So they don't think that that should be, that they, they don't think that that is freedom of speech. They don't think that counts as freedom of speech. Straight up, they don't think that that counts as the definition of freedom of speech. So if it's wathism, thethism, whatever the fuck, they still don't think it counts. How fucking stupid, dude. Because it obviously does. Right? Th this is a, I support freeze peach, but, but I don't. You know what I mean? Consider this story that completely failed to make a dent in the right-wing media escape, and I wonder why. I wonder why. Two years ago, a fourth grade teacher in South Carolina public school asked students to write an essay to society on any topic that the principal was then going to collect into a booklet for the entire class and their families. One of the students in the class submitted a paragraph for the assignment on a topic that she cared deeply about. When the principal went to compile the essays into the class booklet, the principal decided that the essay topic was not appropriate, would be disagreeable, and would make other parents upset. See, that's the principal just like easing like, breaking it to the kid easy that, like, kid, your parents indoctrinated you into a far leftist cult where you think that, like, genitally mutilating mentally ill people is rational, okay? So we're not gonna fucking freak people out. We're not gonna freak out the squares and the normies with your creepy little, you know, nonsense, okay? Ultimately, the principal and the teacher forced the student to write her essay about a different topic entirely. Earlier this week, the federal appeals court ruled that the principal and the school district were well within their rights to refuse public. Of course they were. Of course they were. Dude, deplatform the hell out of that stuff. It's all destructive and evil. Like, it's evil and destructive by design, man. You know? And it is one big coincidence. Haha. <laughs> The fact that the government censored a student's paper based on concerns about what the public wanted barely registered on social media or mainstream news. I couldn't find a single politician who said a word about this case. And the I mean, whatever, you're probably misrepresenting it anyway. And I don't care. We all know that the, the rule is someone opposing the transgender agenda is the one getting deplatformed. We all know that that is the rule, that this is the exception, and it doesn't matter. 
because this is pseudoscientific crap. It doesn't belong in school, and it's grooming kids. That's what it is, okay? This, is a, this kid that they censored or whatever, okay, this kid was just brainwashed by their parents or by media, and there's a lot of fucking jackal fucking charlatans out there that just need to be fucking stopped, in my opinion, so... I couldn't find a single politician who said a word about this case, and the commentators who are filling screens in newspapers with screeds about cancel culture have said nothing, instead focusing on sharing memes and stoking outrage about Dr. Seuss, Mr. Potato Head, and Muppets. Dude, pe people were fired because they tweeted Trump as your president. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking kvetching ass Cohen fucking face, okay? What explains this pin drop silence in the face of actual government censorship? Reading the student's actual essay will answer the question. Here's what the student wrote with all the cute misspellings that come from a quoting from quoting a fourth grader. I don't know if you know this, but people's views on transgenders is an issue. People think that men should not dress like a woman and saying mean things. They think they think they're choosing the wrong thing in life. In the world, people can choose who they want to be, not being told that their diction is wrong. <laughs> I hope people understand that people can hurt themselves from others hurting their feelings. That is a really bizarre statement. Um, no, and it's not true. There's no scientific evidence to substantiate that claim at all. Like, oh, I'm going to call you a he instead of a she. That causes suicidality. No evidence to substantiate that whatsoever. Bougie shit lives from the coasts. Just think that, and since they have enough power, money, and influence to convince enough people of that, you know, that's a mainstream viewpoint that people have. So enough of this little essay, okay. They censored the essay, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hypocrisy. Dr. Seuss, blah, blah, blah. I mean, these people suck. They're just lying hypocrites. They're trying to fucking say that anyone else but them is being hypocritical. But no, it's like, in public schools, we don't even need to finish this. It's all bullshit. It's like, look at this exception to the rule. Oh, someone writing in favor of transgender issues was censored in a public school versus the 99.99 repeating percent of the time when it's someone criticizing transgender issues who gets fucking deplatformed, fired, beat up, drink thrown in their face, vandalized, killed, business burned down, you name it, it happens. Versus how many times, like, some bleak, you know, in the hood beats up a transgender person and it goes unsolved, but we just know that that person got beat up or whatever, or killed, and we immediately are told by the media, blogosphere, right, that it's a fucking, you know, like, we're, we're, we're to assume that it's, like, white supremacist system, yada, yada, yada. We don't even need to fucking finish this. We know the drill. So, let's just, oh, so next time someone uses the nonsense term cancel culture or anything like it, make sure you understand exactly what they're talking about. Not the idea of free speech or censorship, but rather the underlying substance of what is being cancelled. In other words, the right in this country cares not about free speech, but rather about protecting waithism and fethism. They just don't want to say it that way, okay? These people aren't trying to materially improve the lives or the quality of life of any human being on the planet. They're just using wedge weasel words like this to further justify rioting, looting, hurting people, arson, gender transitioning little boys, cutting cutting off little boys' dicks, you know, like, doing Weinstein, Epstein type shit. 